Oh my gosh, I just happened to glance over right and spotted here. this. Okay, well we are in Hagerstown, Maryland today and we are at Crossroads Antique Center. Uh, it has been a few months, maybe almost a year since I've been here. It's been a long time. Um, so I'm excited to get in here and see what fresh treasures they have. And um, we're gonna head in here and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. All right, so this booth yeah, is the yeah. one right across from the checkout counter. It looks like they've got a bunch of Acro Agate. They actually have one of the original boxes, which is kind of crazy. You don't usually find it like this. That's amazing, and it looks like it's only missing one of the cups, which would be so hard to find. Oh, it says three pieces missing, of course. Empty spot, empty spot, empty spot. But it would be easy enough to come across those pieces and replace them. That's really amazing. Really cool to see all those pieces together. Alright, let's see what we have over here. I've bought a few pieces out of this booth before. Some nice pieces of glass. Oh my gosh, look at it all. It's everywhere. <laughs> I love this one. Kind of reminds me of Bittersweet. And then down here, a bunch of paperweights. I guess I should have come here when I was looking for paperweights for my sale. That fish pendant in there is quite lovely for $125. <laughs> here I am again. I have a, a jewelry sale coming up on whatnot. I've decided that on July 26th, it's a Wednesday sale, 4 p.m. Eastern, I'm gonna have a jewelry sale on whatnot. I have so much jewelry to get rid of. But here I am looking at jewelry. That is absolutely gorgeous. $125 on that. I don't know if there's any discounts. Oh, it says 45% off everything. So it's 45% off this silver fish pen. I wonder if it's actually $925. Because I might grab that. <laughs> if it's 45% off, that might be worth grabbing. Let's see what we can find in here. Oh, those are so darling. Holt Howard Rock and Roll Boy Girl Salt and Pepper Shakers. $200. 45% off. I wish I knew my Holt Howard better. I don't think I've ever seen those ones before. I just happened to look up and notice this. Can I get it down with one hand? Oh, there's a giant crack on the top. Never mind. I see a chip up there, so it's not even worth pulling down. This is an amazing Empoli bottle, 240, or 295, 245, 295, same, same difference, right? <laughs> There's some bittersweet vases, 350 on that, 325, I've got a few of those at home that I'm not willing or ready to give up yet, <laughs> 235 on that, oh my goodness, this is really nice, 75 on this, oh this is Thames glass. I've been coming across so much Thames glass lately. I recently acquired a little fish from the vintage kitchen and I didn't realize until after I got it back and I was staring at it and I'm like, wait a second, this is Thames. I was pretty pleased with that. Hi, you're $15, but I like you. I could drink wine out of that. <laughs> Stemless wine or votive holder. I mean, it could work for either. Maybe it's more of a votive holder than a wine glass. This looks like Kralik. This is 15% off everything over $10, an extra 5% if you pay with cash. So I'm almost certain this is Bohemian Kralik. It is kind of nice. I like the iridescence on that. Mm. It would 15% off be. So that would be $9.50 off. Plus a little bit more. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I can justify that. I just picked up a piece the other day um, that was purple. Alright, so this used to be one of my favorite cases to rifle through. However, it looks like it is now primarily camera things. And this clock, Hubert Henry Cuckoo Clock. $185. Oh, it's really neat. It's got an owl on it, but 
I steer clear of clocks. So this is where those cases have moved to. So we're gonna check this out. See if anything jumps out. That parrot in there is really neat. $15 on this piece of Raku. It is signed on the bottom. It looks like, shoot, um, Creek. Something Creek. Anne William, maybe. Wilkin. I don't know, that should be easy enough to figure out. But it's $15. And I think I'll grab that. You can tell it's Raku because it has that charred base. So, it's charred. It's probably Raku. Okay, well, let's check around the corner booth here. Oh, this. Remember this? We found one at the hoarder house that was missing a lid. It was missing the lid, and no matter how hard we tried to find it, we could not. <laughs> 150 on that. Uh, what do we have over here? We have some art glass. Volcante. I feel, oh, I thought I felt a chip, but it's just the tape on the edge. 35 and 15% off. It's a nice piece of glass. I don't know who makes it, but I like the Bolacante, so I think I'll grab it. Of course, I also noticed this. What do we have on that? 65, yeah, I don't know if I can do that and still make a profit, but it's gorgeous. $15, strawberries and flowers in enamel basket. I love this, and this reminds me of those flower arrangements that I purchased at Antiques Marketplace of Le Moyne. I think they were, I can't remember who they were made by, but they were made for Gorham. You guys probably remember them. Uh, they were made in different style vessels. Some were glass, some were uh, metal, but I think that's what this is. So this is $15. I think we're going to grab it. And I will put in the corner who I think is the maker of this because I can't off the top of my head remember um, but I'm pretty certain that's who made this and I believe it was for Gorham if I remember correctly the celadon set is amazing I love that green that's not part of it this is part of it <laughs> Look at how gorgeous that is. So just sucker for Celadon, even these. Oh, that rug is so fun. That is a fun rug. Let's see what we've got here, more Holt Howard. I remember them from our last visit. Bustoria Heirloom. Brandy Snifter. I like the flowers on that. Hmm. Wait a second. Is that Campbell? I don't think it is. <laughs> right? I mean, it's scribbly like Bill Campbell, but I don't... I'm like, wait a second. Okay, signed Morris. Yeah, Morris makes more sense. Like, it doesn't really look like his glaze, but it's really scribbly. But on that bowl, it clearly says Morris and not Campbell. I'm obsessed with this. 160 on the Bjornwood Blad Studio Line Base. Ugh. I love it. I actually have a piece of Bjornwood Blad um, hanging in my staircase. I don't know if you guys remember when I bought it. It had a small chip on it, and I'm like, that doesn't bother me. I'll still hang it up. Curtis Jerry Metal Walking Train Depot. That right there is the difference between the <laughs> Chinese versions and the actual Curtis Jerry version. I don't know if you've seen the Chinese versions, but I've seen a lot of them. And now I've seen an actual Curtis Jer, which I've said in the past, but I was corrected, Curtis Jerry version. And there's a huge difference. 
Well, this bird is kind of nice. 15% off of this. Oh, that's super fancy. I wonder if that's Murano. Alabastro glass. Holy. No signatures on that. That is a gorgeous bird. Look at the detail that went into making. So it's 45, 15% off. There's always discounts for cash, but I don't care cash. <laughs> I know, I know I should, but I don't. Um, it feels good. All the points are complete. I don't feel any chips or cracks. So we're gonna take the birdie with us. There's some pretty glass. Ooh. This looks like it could be Czech. $28.99. I love that. $28.99 and 10% off everything over $10. I'll pick that up for $24.99. I'm sorry, $28.99. Beautiful. Yep. There's some George Brihard $32.95. Butterflies. Glass insert. That's in good condition. Like surprisingly good condition because it's made from metal and there's not a whole lot of oxidation on that. So uh, this is the same booth, 10% off. I think we'll pick that up. For sure. Lots of treasures in here. Check out all the Fiesta. have in the case. There's a Blanco picture down there. Well, oh, that's a neat Pyrex pattern I haven't seen before. Navajo oval casserole. Wow. I like that one. I've never seen that pattern. This is why I don't delve into Pyrex. Wow, wait, that face in the back is stunning. I mean, the one in the front is nice too, but... <laughs> I love that in the back. Um, it's 425 though. I'm not sure I could swing that. What is this one? Hearts? It's the hearts casserole. See, now I'm learning things. 195 <laughs> and it's locked. I came over to check it out. I'm like, oh, that's a pretty vase. It's 195 and locked and I don't think it's worth it to go grab a key. That's pretty as well. This vase is kind of fun. Um, it's got a polished base. It strikes me as being Japanese though. I don't know, I could be wrong. Uh, there is some soot trapped inside the glass there. You can see it. That's from the last one. The glass blowing. I was going to say making and then I was going to say blowing and it turned into some weird word. <laughs> um, that's from the glass blowing process. I don't know. $22. Kind of, it reminds me of a creamsicle. I think that's why I like it. 15% off everything over $10 and less mark firm. So 15% off. That brings it under 20, right? Yeah, we'll grab that. I like the coloring of it, so we'll take it with us. Those are Murano, but I think I looked at those. Yeah. I have a piece of that listed right now, a really big piece. Hey, look! <laughs> it's a Lucite turtle soap dish. I'm never gonna stop picking these up now. It'll never get old. $7. Red resin turtle abalone soap dish. I kind of love this lamp. And I'm like, where would I put it? I don't know, but I love it. And it is vintage. It's got a vintage cord. I mean, it's not antique, but it's vintage. It's $230, though. Hmm. It's a similar color scheme to the last bird we picked up. Uh, this one's $10. I don't think this one is Murano. It's nice, but you can see it's a little bit more globulous. A little bit more globulous. That one has more detail. It's more well-formed. You can see the tail is brought to points. Um, 
more detail in the eyes. It's got eyes, it has a beak. So I don't think this one is Murano. I'm not even 100% convinced that this one's Murano, but this one's a better quality bird. So I walked by this case here and I happened to notice as I was walking by this vase here. I think that might be Alexandrite and it's only $30 looks to be only $30, and I think I need this in my life. So I might request a key to get in there. Gorgeous. Do you mind if I look at it over in the light? Okay, <laughs> I just wanna make sure. I'm not leaving, <laughs> make a break for it. <laughs> I just wanted to see if it changed colors. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll take that for 30 on the bottom. Very cool. It's a nice looking paperweight. $45 on that. <laughs> Come here, I'm still picking up paperweights. I just can't help myself. I don't see any discounts on this booth though. So, I don't know. I don't know. Is it worth picking up? I don't have any paperweight sales coming up, so I don't think I'm going to mess with it. If I happen to plan for a paperweight sale, I know where to come. I've actually seen quite quite a few paperweights. That yellow set, that's pretty. Those lamps are gorgeous. I wonder if those are contemporary. Hmm. I thought from a distance they were glass. I got closer and they're ceramic. That perfume bottle is wonderful. However, it looks like the top has a repair. Um, it's just so shiny and then the top is kind of, um, doesn't have that same shine. And if you look just right, you can kind of see where there's a crack. So I think the glue that they used to repair it has taken away that shine. It's only 18 bucks. It's a beautiful bottle. I love the crackle to it. I just, for resale, I don't think it's a good decision. I'm trying to steer clear of chips and cracks. I've been doing pretty good at it. Doing pretty good. <laughs> All right, so this booth is fantastic, and I thought that I needed to share it with all of you because it is full of horses and everything horses. I don't usually buy horses. Occasionally I'll pick up a horse, but <laughs> this is amazing for all of you who love horses. Look at it all. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. It's a carousel horse. It's amazing. <laughs> Even though this is not my thing, I can appreciate it. And I at least wanted to share it with all of you because this is super cool. They even have a suggestion box. Comments may be shared on the American Muse Facebook page. Custom art. $3. This is wonderful. I think I'll buy this custom art. Fantastic. Aurora, you did a wonderful job. This is potting shed. Not dead in pottery. So when I first started selling this potting shed, I was under the impression that this was like later dead and pottery, but I found an article online, you could probably find it too, um, that potting shed is not the same as dead and pottery. Uh, basically somebody, and I can't remember her name, but she admired dead and pottery so much that she started recreating it. And this is called potting shed. And she makes uh, the, the same crackle glaze. I think this is from the 1980s. It's still really neat, and actually that's probably a good price for it. Let's see, potting shed. How much? 15 for that candle stick, 18 for this. Yeah, I might grab that. I think that's a good price for a potting shed. Alright, so after all of that walking around, I'm about to uh, check out. I came back to this booth. Um, I think at $200, even at 45% off, 
I might be right at retail on that, those Holt Howards. I think I'm going to pass on those. But they're here. They might still be here by the time the video drops. I don't know. My videos are a week and a half um, behind. So by the time you see this video, a week and a half has passed. So are they still here? I don't know what to tell you. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to peek around here one last time. Make sure I didn't miss anything. There's some nice glass up there. They're currently wrapping my stuff, so. Um, no, that's crazy. I just saw one of these the other day at Goodwill. I could have bought it and sold it for 10 bucks. Gosh darn it. Missed opportunity. This giant Peruvian art. I believe this is Peru. 150 and 45% off. I mean, that is a great deal, but it's so big and heavy. And I don't want to buy it just to stick it in my booth because I, oh, I forgot about the fish. I need to get the fish out. Oh my gosh, I just happened to glance over He's and spotted now. this. But he says it's definitely silver. Uh, all right, it's definitely silver. All right, I think I'm going to buy this, too. Anything you're interested in there, I'll give you a deal. That's really? Fine. Oh, my gosh, I'm taking this with me. Well, take it. Give you a deal. Vintage banana box. I need it in my life. You can have it for 80 bucks. It's mine. I'm taking it. <laughs> All right. Well, that was it. Um, our total spend there today was a little over $350. That includes... $80 banana box crate that was a sign from the heavens. It was like, oh, you know, it was right there at the checkout. I looked over and there is a banana box crate, which I wanted. I have wanted one of these for a while. Ever since we decided that we were going to call our store Banana Box Antiques back in 2020, I have wanted one of these. And it was right there at the checkout. And I was like, this is it. This is the moment that I make one of these. And it just took three years it's 2023 right <laughs> it just took three years um but that yeah that was exciting so anyway um that was the sign I needed so I'm gonna get out of here now I'm gonna head on home I think I got about an hour and 20 minutes home but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I guess I'll see you all tomorrow so long